Good morning ladies and gentlemen in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make an automated uh, or parametric uh, windows that can be applied immediately to our geometry and uh, it specifically will be in the middle of each bay so in this case for this side we have three bays we're gonna have a window in each uh, center point or midpoint of that and we can also specify the height of all those windows from the floor or window cell and uh, for the other side we're gonna have also the same thing even if it's have different base so in order to do that we actually need to understand here in dynamo where is the point that located at the perimeter of this list of points and specify where is the midpoint of each one of those so the first job is to know where are the perimeters points and in this case, back to what we have in here as a node, we need to know, uh, because we specify that when we, when we create the beam. So we need to go back to beams, if you remember, because we use those points to draw the beam. So where's the beams? And uh, Probably here. Yep, you see those are the set of points actually on the ground. That's what we want. First thing to do is just to add a uh, first... It's actually list dot first and here we go and connect this to it now if I run this guy will bring this point this point this point and this point so what I've done actually is let me bring this to here so you understand what I've done what I've done guys I brought the first sub list this one all of it here because if you create this it's gonna give you the entire sub list which is the entire column or row here whatever you want to call it let's call it column so those columns four points are actually brought to you when this is the first item or the first sub list here from this biggest one now the same thing we need to do in the state of the first I'm gonna bring the last one and same thing here and in this one I'm just gonna bring you know the end you see this one which is technically the last one here same cool so that's been known what we do is brought the first and the last column and that's what we want let's that's the technically east and west if, if we can if we can say so if I selected this guy I can just go ahead and just assume it's you know uh, wait yeah that's west technically if that's the X Anyway, it have nothing to do, I'm uh, not really sure if it have anything to do with this actual coordination. That's just west and that's just east. And just for me here inside Dynamo so I don't get lost. So, now, I know each point, I have the sequence of each point of those. I need to create lines between them. So the best thing is... Uh, to imagine that those they are the start point or the end point so we need the next point if this is the start this should be the next that's the line could be between this one and this one so this is if this has been start this will be the end so we need to shift those lists let's uh, have a shift and connect the shift and add a value of minus one let me run that and then show you what I was planning to do so now if I open this list and you know go step by step so you can explain sorry so you can easily understand where the list can take us because it's really painful sometimes to understand see now the first item of this list the only the only list we have in here this is this point mm-hmm yep yeah, yep yeah. this is the first guy of this list but this one when we shift it we push it that way so that's the first item of this new list beautiful now uh, which is this guy here remember 
that's 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 the second item now became it's the first item in here I know it's crazy because the zeros here they consider them that's the first and that is the second anyway so that's the first will be connected to that first that's what we want you know now the second point in here will be connected to the second point here beautiful now the third point here with the third point again this guy we don't need it because if we connect it to the third guy it will be the this one which you know, like we don't want that so what we're gonna do we need to tell you know dynamo to get rid of the last point here so what we're gonna do we're gonna get we're gonna have a drop and I'm gonna connect those lists and also this is minus one the same value run that thing and you can see that they are just three now we dropped the last one so that's one that's two that's three and okay and the lovely thing if you remember it's gonna take the shortest so the last one will be ignored in, in, in matter of create in this list because this is the shortest list and we're gonna follow it now we just need a line so we know the mid we need to create the lines these are my start these are my ends again run now what we're gonna have is three lines this guy from here to here this guy from here to here and then this guy from here to here beautiful now we've done this successfully I'm just gonna push just gonna push that up a little bit we need to define the midpoint for you know each line which is that very easy to be done is just go to curve and then point at parameter and tell this that the parameter is 0.5 which is half of the curve itself no matter how wide it was no matter how long it was so now again you see those points if I just select them beautiful and nice you go you know one by one that's one that's two that's three so the first part of our job has been done easily and successfully by just you know knowing this elevation the west elevation how many bays where is those lines and where their mids now easily just copy those select those actually and move them down and in it I'm gonna connect this is this last and now it's gonna define for us the last point shifted and then these are the end these are the starts now we should run that and it should work perfectly on west 2 and actually on east sorry one two three that's beautifully done now we have both east both west now we need to do the same thing but for you know uh, north and south so let me just easily move those up and then copy all those guys down and probably not to get lost again easily that's uh that's west probably we should name the ends okay so that's the west this guy is the east again that's just an indication for me and that should be north Let, let's see how that goes first so now before we jump and look at those guys again it's just a copy that's that's the vertical way of the grid so we need to transpose we need to make the list shift between its rows and columns so I'm gonna just transpose transpose and this guy should control both you know we're gonna get connecting this to this dude now let's run this beast 
Now the beast look like he is in a good shape. Now connecting this point, beautiful, to this, to this, to this. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, so that's south actually. And going all the way to the end, those points should be the midpoint of the south, and they are really nice and correct. And the same thing happening in here that's uh, north, and I'm too lazy to change the other end. clicking it and it's worked perfectly so you can go ahead and you know group those together I don't know it's, this guy is east and west maybe I'll just oh gee that's uh, what is it I don't know west point location dash windows something like that it's actually midpoint location too long as a name that will be east too lazy too lazy guys and what was that south okay just name it properly, not as lazy as I do, otherwise you're going to lose uh, your mind trying to remember what they actually were, so that's north. And this dude should be with them anyway, but again, as I said, too lazy. Now push those guys a little bit up to make it, you know, it's easy to have a, a gap, it's easier for us to digest and know what not to overlap them. Now we know now that the lines has been divided, we know the points, now we need windows. Uh, I think we have something called wall dot I don't know, windows. Mm, I'm just gonna write window. Yeah. So this guy is a nice, very nice package. You can go packages and you know search for it here. It's called uh, Wombat and I love it, it immediately allows us to insert the wall, insert a window inside a wall so that's lovely so let's do it and I'm gonna depend on it, you guys you can go ahead and download it from the internet, it's free so what we need, we need the points and that's my points talking about west that's my placement, I need a family type so family type and I have no idea what to pick just go down maybe this one it's a window that's what we want so connect it to family type level absolutely I'm gonna connect it to level one here If we do this, the points will be placed on the ground. We don't want that. So we need a slider, a numerical one. And this is going to be window cell. And probably, maybe not more than two. I don't know, just one. So how we connect this, we need a translate. We need a tran no, we need a geometry to transform. Is it did I say transform? Translate. No, I need to have my breakfast. Anyway, so that's what we need. All points should go to this guy, and then we should push them up by the amount of cell. So, you know, 
let's run that for the time being see all those points jumped one meter above based on this that's what we want nice and lovely nice and lovely great now we need the walls that's the boring business the wall has been created guess what by the wall nodes which we did uh, that's a parapet maker, both of them, that's the wall. So if I just drop that, it will be a fresh hell to know which is which. So that's so sad. Again, so I don't know where is each one of those. And again, I'm too lazy. And the easy thing is to know that they are just four. So I'm just going to try them. That's that guy here. But before I try them and make this crazy thing, this list is for four walls, right? You remember? Those are four walls. It's crazy because the window will be only placing those. So this guy will give you error, this guy will be giving you error, this guy will be giving you errors because they have nothing to share with those four, sorry, with those three walls. So it would be really nice to reduce the embarrassment. And a failure is to give a get item which one let's say you know just like they are just like four so just let's say here and then choose from those which one so those four walls I'm gonna pick the first one of it and which one is I don't have no idea just run if that's you know where's the where's the waste on the other side let's go ahead yep beautiful see it's actually I think it's working not really sure if it's working it should be cutting this anywho let me try to make this one and then run that again okay yep now it's crazy in any case anyway let's have a look at getting rid of all this yeah yeah and then run good idea to delete the geometry and then do it again nothing all right see that's mean that those are this is my west and the point is going you know is going where nothing okay so can I make it on zero this time If you keep repeating the process of removing the rivet elements, you're going to end up by having a serious uh, warning. And you'll probably need to, you know, delete, you know, actually to close the rivet file and open a new one for you. Now you can see that uh, those windows have actually been cut through the wall. And that's nice. That's what we want. Okay. Now, the thing that I didn't like is the cell is totally ignoring us. Is it? Or oh, no? I have no idea. Okay. It's a, it's a vertical thing. That's why... That's why it's, the one meter is not really enough. Probably we need to make it two in this case. But that's a crazy... It's the height of the point and instead of the lower edge so it's this location of the center point actually so anyway let me delete this guy to see why the window is not been flying or having a gap between them and uh, and the ground floor so I just raised this points too I'm afraid that this is not a sill that's the center of this window and obviously it's ignoring me so no, just to switch this guy to something else and run it again. Nope, something not not really working properly. So actually, everything is working properly except my nodes. 
Okay. You start to get the feeling that those are wrong for some reason. No. So no, those yep, are actually here, that's so sad too. No. Those are my nodes, so that's two. Happen if we push that to one. Run it again. Technically, they are not moving upward, as you can see. Make absolutely no sense. Here, let's say two, run. Yeah, they're getting higher in here, but not in this side. So I'm just gonna, I have to close the file, actually, all of that, and I'm gonna open it again. See, no matter how much you change, it's gonna give you a rubbish here, so nothing gonna change. So when you reach this point, it would be a good idea to, you know, close the AutoCAD, sorry, close the Revit file, and then open it again, run this script, which might take like a four or five minutes. So I will posing it back to you guys. Well, hello again. Now I, uh, I just restarted everything. I restarted Dynamo and I restarted uh, uh, Revit. And actually, I found that my mistake, it wasn't a Dynamo mistake, I was keep blaming. And it's simply that, you know, this guy wasn't here, if you remember. I just noticed that the placement is not being taken from anything from that, uh, the uh, window cell and the geometry translate that I made. So, I yes, I made this, I made that, you know, but uh, I was not connecting this to the placement point, And it's still taking the placement, placement point as the old one, which have nothing to do with what, you know, I was just talking about. So just place it here. So, the value of the change will be controlled by this. Now, hit 1. And you're going to see the windows will jump as the cell height give. Anyway, sorry, that's my bad. And it was like really like that, so I thought it's been connected from here anyway. And so what we have again to make this was to make this node working is the geometry translate pushing that up connected to the point placement, and then the result will be here. The wall uh, it might be goes for uh, hide and seek with us in a couple of minutes. And be careful if it's been shown as not cut. That mean you are placing those point here, but the windows will be placed on the other side so that won't you know that that will give you the wrong result. So see that zero goes with two, one goes with three. If I switch zero to two, it gonna shows see the windows on the other side, but probably will not open them or it is, I don't know. Oh actually it's working good. Uh that's uh, okay. But they should be here. See the points? So anyway, I tried that in the previous test I did for that and it was actually not working it's just place them there without opening them in the wall so that's been said that's done correctly just jump in here and just go again to this move it down now again those points should be taken from this guy to the geometry and then that guy should goes in here now the zero should be two run it See the points here? Now we should go just to see the points in here. Beautiful. See? Now I'm just going to move that a bit down. It's going to be crowded now. Just those two things and then just those two things. Beautiful. Now select those. I'm gonna push them down. And I will connect this to the geometry. And this should go for one or three. Let me try one. 
So I should place them somewhere here. No, no. Those are the points. So it should be three. Yep. They are here. See? And the same thing is for the last one. Should be connecting this guy to the geometry and should change this to number one and run that see nice and lovely now we have a building that actually fully parametric that you can change the dimension of the columns and the number of the columns it will regenerate itself to be created with a full detail of all column beams and slabs if you, if you don't uh, remember what we was doing see that's the whole thing has been been prepared and created for us with a couple of you can change that with a couple of clicks to make it a different entire different uh, building uh, probably uh, it's a good idea to test or flex that uh, one more time probably we make it uh, I don't know let's make it this may be a number of verticals let's make them eight maybe and the number of horizontals let's make them six and instead of uh, beams five we can make them four and then we can go for that as four also I'm gonna change it if any crash happened that's you know what we have to do we just we need to you know delete that and, and I just clean it and do it again but let's have let's have a go it might go some crazy beams or it might not be created correctly that's that's uh, it's okay because it can delete or rejoin elements again so let's give it a chance to see I wish it won't take too long to crash <laughs> Come on, let's do it. Yeah, now Dynamo is thinking, do I have to crash or no? And then he said, yes, I will crash on this guy. See, the crash is here. It's, it's unable to fix the join between the beams and the old one and the new one. So, yeah, wasting our time, just delete. Yeah, yeah, I know. Run it. If this guy, if after you crash and it also happened, just you know, you know, God help you, you know, like just, just again close that guys, both of them, and open them again. It worked perfectly. Probably if you close the this file and the dynamo thing, you probably you really need to remember to go back to load the beams and to load the you know the the beam type and the slab type also but I always do that I always forget that I mean because uh, this is a blank file that I use so when you reload you're talking about crushes while we are talking about crushes see this that's the columns you need to to load this this is a column it's a load base it's, it isn't the default part of the template so it's gonna be you know empty so you have to load it again here and rivet and the same thing with the beams those guy will be blank anyway so come back here and see you can see how lovely it is again fully made fully parametric fully created so you can imagine how how much time saver this can be if we dealt with that uh, in a very huge scale building and it's allow us to change almost anything in it from the column type to the column location to the amount distances even if you go to plan you can have that been drawn you know uh, perfectly for us uh, that's the building that we want everything is ready if I run it again it's gonna add the dimension for me because as I did as I said it's need to be you know selected at as per the uh, level view you can see it's not existed it's okay just run it again you can see the dimension here it won't show in 3d that's what I meant 
So that type of uh, node can be significantly a time saving process that can add for us uh, a fully automated ability to control our building, uh, the grids, the dimension, the beams, the slabs, walls, parapets, and then finally the window. And uh, I wish that you guys you find this uh, video useful. Again, tell me what you are thinking about and what geometry or what objects or what buildings you are thinking to make. Uh, similar to any family type, you might find it uh, really interesting to do. Uh, thank you again and have a good day. Bye-bye.